you know paul says that uh, uh, without ceasing i have remembrance of the in my prayers night and day so always paul addresses that uh, you know i remember you remember you in my prayer in philippians also we saw in timothy so in what way a christian should remember another christian and now again the question of what should we be doing to another christian we should do everything that is possible to another christian depending on uh your context and what god wants us to do if it is teaching then you are supposed to teach if it is encouraging you are supposed to encourage if it is praying often times uh it is you can pray you can uh, pick up the phone and reach out to somebody uh we need to do that if there is any need for financial help we need to do that if there's any need for somebody to open up their life to you so that you will counsel advise them and uh, you know stand by their side you should do that if somebody is in hospital you should visit that all of these are things that we can do as a christian and paul especially taking only that particular segment of prayer he says to his spiritual son i've not only invested truth in you okay but i am thinking about you and praying to the lord whenever i think about you i'm thinking about you day and night i'm praying for you day and night can also be uh, in a sense uh, a hyperbolic way of saying i'm thinking of you all the time means like you know you should not be sitting with your watch and say you know 24 hours how many other seconds there are every second he's thinking of that okay it's a figure of speech it's a language that is in use but he was very intentional in prayer very systematic in prayer very consistent in prayer uh, very thoughtful in prayer and he invested time in praying for his spiritual sons so if you're called to do that for others that you are investing in life you should do am i praying for cubius like that no i'm not okay don't get me wrong uh, you know i don't know how paul was able to do that but that shows the father heart or uh, and the pastoral heart of an evangelist who's passionate to lead the next generation in godliness yeah okay 